yeah, I'm Ashley. And has anyone here ever had to move to a new city when you were a kid? It's, yeah, it, it's hard, right? I mean, moving from um, New York to a small redneck city in North Carolina where they had, you know, really cute nicknames for me. Jew. <laughs> Damn Jew. You know, which was kind of weird coming <laughs> from my PE teacher. And has any, did anybody play games when you were a kid? You know, like hide and go seek. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they had their Southern version. Let's find the girl whose ancestors killed Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just, it's just so weird how Jews and Gentiles, we just have different way of dealing with things. Gentiles have a problem. They pray. Dear Lord, please let daddy get the job down at the fireworks store. Jews eat. Mom, I got in a fight with my friend. Have some cake. Mom, I'm pregnant. A bagel with lots? <laughs> I mean, Gentiles have a solution for everything. Jesus. Pray to Jesus. Which is weird because praying to a Jew is the solution. I mean, I think when, G when Jesus comes back, he'll just say, oh, have a nosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just did not get those Southern Baptists. I mean, it was like when I was a therapist and I just didn't get my clients. You know, everybody has a problem these days, right? Is anyone else just sick to death of people coming to you with problems? Problems that you're supposed to fix, which isn't good when you're the therapist. I just, I mean, there are three subtle clues that a career as a therapist probably isn't a good idea. You fall asleep in the session. Your clients aren't getting better. And during the session, you start screaming, you, 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 why is it all about you? What about me? <laughs> so I'm no longer in that career. I now live in LA, land of profound narcissism. I fit in here. I mean, some cities have a mascot like an eagle or a lion. I think LA's mascot would just be a dolphin who just got a boob job holding a mirror. Yeah, it was it was just so hard to be a therapist because I was more interested in my improv classes, which isn't great when dealing with clients. I'm having trouble finding purpose in my life. Freeze. Okay, I'm a fireman and you're someone asking to, for help finding your dog. Go. Uh, I don't think this is working out. And scene. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just wasn't on the same page with my clients, which is exactly how I felt growing up with those Southern Baptists. We're so different. But, you know, I did. I had holiday envy because they had Easter. We're going to hunt for decorated eggs and eat a chocolate bunny. We had <laughs> Passover. <laughs> That's great, Mary Lou. My family had the blood of a Pascal lamb and sat at the table for hours feeling guilty. I mean, and you try getting Jewish food at Walmart, Wally World, the <laughs> South's favorite store. Um, where's the holla bread? Oh yeah, girl, holla back. Darling, let me take you back to the music section. And she gives me a Gwen Stefani CD. <laughs> I was like, no, you know, the, the braided bread, the, the bread. Oh, no, darling. We don't, um, we don't sell hair weaves here, but we do have a hair department. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just going to leave you with one piece of advice. If you are looking for the kosher wine, Manischewitz in the South, just don't. All you'll hear is, man, you shove it. <laughs> 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 and that is my time thank you for being such a wonderful audience and i will send it back to the wonderful dean